Shakespeare by the Sea is coming to Nanaimo. For the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st, expect to be invaded by Vikings. Hamlet, set in the Viking era. And maybe we'll bring a tempest, the tempest, Shakespeare's tempest. I am the artistic director, Robert, but I also play Hamlet's father, the ghost. I'll give you a bit of it. I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and by day confined to fast in fires, until the foul crimes of my days of nature are burnt and purged away. Listen, Hamlet, listen. Revenge thy father's foul and unnatural murder. Go interactive with me, Kelly. These are all the key ingredients to making award-winning clam chowder, or is it seafood chowder? Right now it's going to be clam chowder today. Okay. A good base to any seafood chowder. Awesome. This is John. We're here at the Bold Night. He is the owner and executive chef here. And last year, you guys were at an event festival, and you took home prize for this chowder. Yeah, I got People's Choice and Judges tied for Judges' Choice for uh, seafood chowder last year. So. Um, I'm going to do it again this year and see if I can do the same. And you've got two pots going here, not yeah, just the I one. Have, I, I, I will start off with the milk base because that takes a little longer to, the cream base takes a little longer to cook. And then over here we'll be putting all the vegetables, the bacon, the clams. Now I know you don't want to give away all the secrets because you're going to have some competitors there. Yes, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good competition. So I'm just, like I said, this won't be exactly what I'm going to make for Festival, but it's going to be pretty darn close. For people that weren't there last year, what is it like? What is the experience all about? Uh, well, it's going to be at the convention center this year, so it's a little different than uh, last year where it was held, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. A little bit of a food show going on. They're going to have celebrity chefs there as well. Nice. So it's going to be quite a cooking event. I'm starting to smell it. Smelling mm -hmm. really good. So you did all this work ahead of time. Well, yeah, this is the, the hardest the hard part, part of making chowder. I get to be here for the easy part. You'll be my taste tester after and make oh, sure I did it all right. It just gets better and better all the time. Well, this smells amazing. It looks amazing. And, and uh, here's the test of all time. Enjoy. It's very good. <laughs> Thank really you. good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So people can try this for themselves. They can try it. Uh, it's September 26th at Festival. Um, Chowder Fest, I think, starts 11.30ish, um, from what I remember. Um, and yeah, there will be more than me to try out. There will be some competition uh, there. I'm not too sure how many so far, but uh, they're expecting maybe up to 10 restaurants. And people can come out and find out just what earned you this award themselves. Yes, I, this year I was lucky enough to get uh, Best Seafood Restaurant. So for uh, Best of the City, so it was, uh, it was, it was a good year. It was awesome. a good year for awards. I'm going to finish this soup and you can check it out Super for enjoying. yourself. I'm going to try some too. Thank you. Mm. This really is so good. Looking forward to the second annual Chowder Fest competition, all part of Festival, taking place on September the 26th. After 10 years of therapeutic writing, this 15-year-old and his mother can't express their gratitude to the Cowichan Therapeutic Writing Association enough. And Kelly Robinson is going to tell us that story in just a moment. But first, a couple of weekends ago, a team from Shaw right here in Nanaimo headed down to Victoria to participate in the first annual, the first on the island, Woman to Warrior Obstacle event. We joined 170 other women and raised more than $50,000, not just us, but the entire group, to BC Easter Seals Camp to send kids with either physical or cognitive disabilities to a week-long summer camp next year. Now, maybe we should have spent some more time training, perhaps in an outdoor gym like this one here at Oliver Woods, because I would certainly not describe our performance as graceful. Go interactive with Kate, Kate Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Five sophisticated ladies, all quite prim and proper too, thought it might be fun to try something they don't usually do. So they drove off to Victoria. And what a sight it was. Everyone in wacky outfits, in support of a good cause. 
They got themselves all ready, and they looked like quite a force. Their coordinated warm-up had them ready for their course. Off they went to start the race, until they hit a wall. Careful, Kate and Jocelyn. Make sure you do not fall. Through all the different obstacles, they kept a steady pace. Every movement was precise. Every challenge met with grace. They balanced and climbed under things and over many peaks. They had lots of planned out strategies and many wise techniques. I'm not doing it. La, 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 la. <laughs> obstacles and obstacles all put them to the test. And some were oh so strenuous they had to take a rest. Although the challenges were difficult and sometimes made them scream, the freezing icy water was not enough to stop this team. They ran and ran with all their might and were making quite good time. Just when they thought they'd neared the end, what's this? Another climb? The ladies stuck together. Yes, they sure were quite good sports and I'm sure that Kate was happy that she chose to wear white shorts. It took some special skill to make it safely down the ramp. Every bruise and every splinter helped to send the kids to camp. They pranced over the finish line, and once they had arrived, they were oh so glad they did the race. And grateful they survived.